choice of a weapon is not always the same. Every region has a skill to bring to the game. Make the staff a bit shorter, it changes the plan because this style of staff is double overhand. back everyone Lauren here again and we're gonna do another video about staff because we want to look at a different style the whole idea is to figure out that just because you have one type of weapon doesn't mean there's only one way to use it so today a shorter staff only about five foot so usually it's about chin or mouth level is the ideal in this system because we're looking at Paulus Hector Mare from the 1540s and this style of system again it is double overhand so last week when we talked about our English system we looked at one over, one under, very much like you would fight with a sword. Still very effective, but the staff in that system, at least six feet or about two meters in height or longer, if we look at other English sources, we probably have a staff nine, 10 feet, 12 feet, with almost four meters. Wow, staff could be really long. This is a very much an up close personal system and a double overhand grip is very important for this system because we are going to get closer, we do have a shorter staff, and the reason for the double overhand is the ease of switching the grip. Now, when you grab with the double overhand in the manual, some of the images have the backhand right at the butt of the staff, and then you're up past a quarter away, not quite half, but you're up much further. So the illustrations, they have the hand showing a little bit of the butt of the staff. So that's what we'll do here today, because that's how I was initially taught many, many, many years ago, was that there's always a little bit of space. When we looked at the English, we were definitely right at the back. Here, we're going to have just a little bit of space. Also helps because the wooden end of the broom handle is not treated the same way as the rest. So here I am double overhand and that's really important because if I'm going to switch the guard from one side to the other it's pretty fast I'm holding on to the staff all the time maintaining control I don't have to worry I just loosen my hand up a bit slide and then I step as I bring the other hand in and there I go I'm covered on the other side Again, I'm looking over my staff, it's not in front of my face. Knees a little bent, torso still on, um, there we go. And I'm ready to fight. And so it's a really quick transition. And even if I'm like this, if I'm in a different guard, if I'm in more of a point down, so there we go. Now, what is the advantage of this? as far as engaging in the opponent. Well, if I double overhand, and we're at a closer range, and I go to attack and the opponent's gonna block, let's imagine we're now in a bind. So there's a staff pressing against mine. Well, if the opponent doesn't press too tightly, or too strongly, I can thrust. So I come in, we're in a neutral bind, I quickly thrust with the staff, there we go. Nice, solid hit, and that's just a little thrust to the floor. I don't want to break the floor parts, <laughs> but it's still pretty loud. So you can imagine jabbing someone, key targets, eyes, forehead, nose, mouth and jaw, throat, sternum. If you hit someone right above the heart, that's going to knock the wind out of them. Oh, not a lot of fun. But what if the opponent is really strong on that bind? What if the opponent is pushing my point out of the way and I'm not online for the thrust? Well, the stuffable overbind system is good because what I can do is as the opponent is pushing, they're also pushing their point out of the way. I slide this hand down, I step and snap. Now I would normally take a much wider step to the side for this, but then the camera can't focus. And this is the fourth time I'm trying to record the video and do this. And I wanna make sure that it stays in focus, stays in frame. So yeah, so from here, if I'm not able to thrust, I can come over and I can do this by switching that guard, which is quick and easy. I can come in, strike, and then recover. And after every move in the system, it's always good to recover. So after I've hit, I'll step back and recover into another guard. 
and make sure that I'm ready. Just in case it didn't quite stop the opponent, I want to make sure I'm ready to receive a counterattack and then continue with the fight. There are other moves you can do. There are some really cool moves where you do a big whining and you actually let go and come around and strike at the opponent. Strike the legs, take the legs out from under them, come across into the head. A lot of really cool things, but remember, you're at a closer distance in this system. So because it's a shorter staff, you are closer. And if you're closer, that means less distance, that means shorter time to do things. So that's why this double overhand grip is, again, important. It allows us to be faster with our transitions. We can still perform our strikes and thrusts with just about the same amount of power. Feels pretty good, but we're in closer, we're doing more, and it is definitely easier to carry a shorter staff around. Like a, It looks more like a walking stick than a big weapon, and uh, it's pretty easy to transition into the grip and to fight with it. So the whole point of showing you this was that I want to make sure that you know that there are other ways of fighting with weapons. It's not just one style, there's not just one long sword, there's not just one army sword, there's not just one type of staff. The staff is versatile, and you can use any kind of long stick. It may not be as tall as you, it may be much taller than you, but there are different ways that you can use it, different ways of fighting, different timing, different distance, get your feet moving, and that allows you a lot of options. Especially if you were out and about and just had to pick something up, you can imagine in the Middle Ages, in the Renaissance period, if you got into a fight and you could just grab something and, well, it's a bit shorter. Oh, I've got a different system. I'm going to move in close. Do you have an advantage over the opponent? Well, if your staff is a bit shorter, you definitely have to get closer. But if you can cover that distance and get past the point of a longer staff, you've got a lot of great advantages. The problem is getting past that point. If you're fighting a smart opponent and they have a longer staff, they're probably going to move to keep the distance that best suits them. So it's always best if you can have same weapon against same weapon. Not always going to happen, but knowing different styles really helps you be able to change and be adaptive in a situation. So if we were looking at writing a story or doing uh, games and things like that, we, we can understand that, yeah, there might be different styles that we could switch to. It starts to get a lot complica more complicated, but we can, if you were animating a game or um, a story, if you were making a little video, you could see that there are different ways to do it. You can get some variety, get some flavor to it. And of course, when it comes to martial arts, we always want to learn different systems. You don't want to just stick with one system and say, that's the only system I'm ever going to learn. Variety is great. Learning different styles is great. I mean, you should never stop learning. You should always stick with it to keep learning every style you can and then take the parts that work best for your body mechanics and the situation you're in and that's what's going to serve you well. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is a quick look at a very different style of staff from Paulus Hector Meyer. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and remember, hit the like button if you really liked it. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. We try to do videos Tuesdays and Fridays in this house and bring them to you by we, me, and cats, but they are not making the appearance today, which is good. So remember to notify and um, yeah, keep on watching. We're almost, almost just a few short of 200 at the time of recording. So we should be there over the weekend, I hope. And we'll be back next week for more history, more martial arts, and more fun. Yes, I am going to stick with it. That's for sure. Thank you.